Let's make some history tonight The child inside is wild It's been a very long four years and uh, a great four years, so I'm, I'm excited to be back here in Manila. I've been trying to get back here for a very long time, so this is a, a very triumphant moment to finally make it back here because I worked with my fans to make it happen, so it's pretty cool to actually see it happen and to actually be here. Well, I just released an album, and this is the first time that I've, I've done an album myself, and uh, I, I raised all the funds with my fans, and I really did produce the whole thing myself and did it all with, with my friends, though. So when I say myself, I basically mean I didn't do it with a record label. Um, I worked with tons and tons of people, especially the fans, to make this record, and it's this very collaborative um, thing that I did. And basically, in the past, I had done a lot of stuff kind of closed off, and as an artistic person, it's kind of difficult sometimes to show people things that aren't finished. Um, and this was very different for me. So I've just basically, you know, for the past four or five years, I've been trying to step outside of the box and try new things to, to stay creative. And uh, I feel the strongest I ever have in my life. I feel the healthiest. I feel, uh, I feel great. And like I said, it's just good to be here in Manila. I think, you know, there are a lot of differences from the stuff I did with the Click Five. And I think just in general, it's kind of the natural life of a band that, that we, we were very busy for a long time and then we all wanted to take a break. And the cool thing about that band is everyone's so talented. So everyone's doing a lot of different things and are very good at a lot of different things. So everyone's very happy right now. And uh, so for me, the solo project is kind of my, my new way of, uh, of being creative. It's my, it's my new way to get back on stage in front of people because that's really what what drives me in here is, is playing in front of people. As far as the Click 5 is concerned, I'm not sure what we'll do, if anything. We might do something again, we might not, I'm not really sure. Um, you know, it's not necessarily entirely up to me. It's, it's five people in a band and everybody has to be on the same page, you know, so it kind of depends on where everybody is in their lives. And I think everyone's kind of in a different spot, but all good, all good spots. Um, so I think as of now, it's the focus for me is my solo project. The whole thing was new. The whole thing was new. I never did uh, choreography or anything like that. That was all new. Um, if you could tell from the video, it was one take. So it was, took a lot of practice to get it down, to get it, you know, the one you see, the take you see is I think the ninth time I did it. Um, so it was a lot of high energy, a lot of, a lot of sweat breaks and uh, choreography classes and stuff that I'd never done before. And that was the first video where I wasn't holding a guitar. You know, there's all these things where I was kind of stepping outside of my comfort zone. And that's kind of, that's what I'm trying to do every day is to, you know, collaborate with other people and try new things. And, and that's been this whole project for me. I wrote that song during the training for the marathon. I ran the New York Marathon twice. And I wrote that song when I was training for the second one. And uh, basically I was, having trouble with it because it's a very difficult thing. I think it's probably in the top five most difficult things for a human to do is to run 26 miles. So it was just, it's tough, you know, it's hard to do. And um, I think I just needed something uplifting going on in my head while I was running because I would use that time to write lyrics because it's a long time. Like you, you know, a lot of times towards the end of the training you're running for two or three hours straight. And then the marathon itself is like four hours straight. So you have a lot of time in your brain so I would use that time to write music and write lyrics. I would love to come back, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, this, this show for me, my reason for being here is more of a teaser, okay. is like a showcase and, uh, and do a, a full concert. And I think by that time I will have put out a new EP, possibly, or maybe an addition to this EP that I just put out, we'll see. And I had this kind of wacko, crazy music video idea that I won't tell you too much about because I don't want to give too much away, but I have this crazy music video idea that is going to be really cool. So that's going to be something that's going to be out soon, also. So, How soon? Uh, not very near future, but I would say within the next six months, ish. Um, so I have all these things kind of up my sleeve right now that I'm that I'm working on, and uh, they're all leading up to me coming back um, and hopefully doing a world tour. And obviously, Asia would be probably number one on that list for me to come back. Um, I, the fans here are just so incredible, and they've supported me, and, and of course, the Click Five you know, from when I first started. And uh, that's, that just means the world to me, and that's why I come back here so much. This is probably my fifth time to Manila, so I just love coming here, and I'll come back. I, uh, I cook more here, actually, 
than I did when I was at home. Like I, I would make some stuff here and there. There's this one grocery store in New York called Trader Joe's and they have these good like kind of pre-made things. So I would make Trader Joe's meals. <laughs> um, but uh, here I've actually cooked more in Asia than I, than I have uh, back in the States because I've been in Asia for almost three months now. Um, you know, especially when I'm here in Asia, I usually try to eat a lot of local food. Um, I've been living off of below recently. Really? No. <laughs> no, I tried it once when I was here in like 2007 and I couldn't deal with it. It wasn't bad, it was just the thought of it that I couldn't really deal with. Okay. I did have some seasick that I thought was really good. Which basically that's like shaved pig's face. Is that right? Chopped pig's ears. Ears. Yeah. Where you get from. Yeah. So it's a lot of different types of things mixed into one. Yeah. First of all, thank you to everybody who's stuck with me from day one. Um, the reason that I'm here again is because of all of you out there. You know, I post things on Twitter and Facebook, and you're so active and you're so vocal. And I would not be here in Manila right now if it was not for you. You are the reason why I'm here. So thank you so much. And uh, I would urge anyone out there that doesn't know who I am or doesn't know my music or doesn't know anything about my past. Um, I would urge you to check out my website and just listen to my music and give it a chance and uh, see what you think because I'm very passionate about it. It comes from my heart and I hope you guys like it and I hope to come back to Manila. So thank you all out there and thank you for the interview.